For some of the most vulnerable young patients, just getting to the hospital for care is a major challenge. Sure, and when a local teenager realized the extent of the problem, she created a solution. Dr. Frank McGeorge has her story. Growing up, 16-year-old Reem Siddiqui would often visit her mother at work at Children's Hospital. It was during those visits that the teen first noticed a troubling trend and wanted to help. And I would notice that some of her patients would miss their appointments because they couldn't find transportation to come here. And these patients have sickle cell disease, which is a disease that requires constant medical attention. All right, we're going to look in, okay? It's a persistent yeah. problem, says Reem's mom, Dr. Rana Khatib. Lack of transportation is one of the biggest pieces of the puzzle. So we see our patients very frequently for different reasons. Sickle cell is a disease which affects everything right from the brain to down to your bones. There, there are complications related to it. Some families might not have vehicles and others, they can't always rely on others to give them rides because of the frequent appointments. And public transportation can be unreliable or unavailable. When I realized that missing these appointments could be detrimental to their health, I wanted to help out as best as I could. So Reem created a nonprofit organization called My Caring Heart. That's my with an MI for Michigan. It's a 501c3 that collects money to provide cab vouchers for kids with sickle cell. Over the past year, I've collected over $12,000 and I used the money that I collected to provide transportation so that their, the patients wouldn't miss their appointments. Two-year-old Elijah Williams is one of those patients. If it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be getting back and forth to his appointments. Getting Elijah to Children's Hospital was a constant source of stress for mom Jermita. They live in Clinton Township and Jermita doesn't have a car or know how to drive. She tried a transportation service. They would take us and bring us here, but never come back and get us. With two older kids at home, she feared getting stuck. Because the thought of me going somewhere and me getting dropped off with him and now having a way back home, that kind of was scary for me as a mother. I thank God that God put it on people's heart like that to be able to help other people. So his labs look amazing. Okay. So, you know, we'll continue staying at the same dose. We're not okay. going to go up. Making those appointments is critical. We need to monitor his counts every four to six weeks. We cannot just give him 12 prescriptions and say, go on for a year. This medication helps him stay healthy and prevent complications related to sickle cell. Some kids come for blood transfusions to prevent a stroke. Because of COVID, Reem had been unable to meet any of the kids benefiting from My Caring Heart until now. Thank you. <laughs> it was a moment worth waiting for. He's a really sweet kid, and it was really just heartwarming to see him. And I can see that my funds are going to someplace good, and they're helping someone. And I was so happy to meet him. For Reem's mom, it was a double dose of emotion. As a mom, I'm very proud of her, but as a physician, I'm so glad that someone looked, someone knew that there is a need and said, I'm going to do something about it. It just makes me want to keep doing it and collect just as much money as I can to continue helping kids like Elijah who need to come to these medical appointments. Now, 100% of the donations collected are given to the social worker at the Children's Hospital of Michigan, who then coordinates the rides for patients in need. If you'd like to help, we've put a link to My Caring Heart. That's with an MI on the health page at clickondetroit.com. Back to you.